Hey guys, Johnny here, back with another video. I know, I know, it's been three years since I made my last video. Thank you so much to everyone who subscribed because of it, and sorry again for the long video drought. I tried to be better. But now I'm back. And since a lot of you guys have asked in my last video how I set up my terminal, I thought it would be a good idea to go through the steps of how to get this sweet terminal set up. It comes with a bunch of metadata, aliases, nice colors, icons, productivity tools, and much more. I'm using iTerm2 on a Mac. My shell is not sh or bash as you might know from a regular Unix distribution, but it's csh or c shell or just csh. I installed and configured it using the oh my siege distribution with the power level 9k theme. This gives me a bunch of added features over a regular shell like advanced code completion, shared command history across windows, icons, plugins, syntax highlighting, and much more. I worked very long to get this color scheme right, which is this dark blue, not black background with these light foreground colors for better contrast. I went through hundreds of color schemes until I decided to tweak my own one because I could never get these less saturated colors with still a good contrast. But let's start from the beginning to get you the same setup. You can follow along and just pause the video to type the commands. In the first link in the description below, you'll also find a list of all the commands I'm typing so that you can just copy and paste them. All right, so first off, let's start in the regular terminal. You can open it by hitting command space on your keyboard and type terminal. Now the probably most important tool we need is brew. It's a Mac package manager with which we will install all the other software. Let's use brew to install iTerm2. Technically, once this is through, we can already go over to iTerm, but let's install a few other pieces before we do that. Let's install omyzish oh with this command as our configuration framework, that's sh-c to indicate a remote shell script, and then a shell script from GitHub. Again, click the link below so that you don't have to type this entire string. Now, this is the first time your terminal looks a little different, as you can tell by this arrow, and the squiggly line. This is because now we are officially in CSH, not in Bash anymore. Now, to get these cool looking icons everywhere, you're gonna want to install a custom font. Therefore, let's create this fonts directory in the user folder just in case it doesn't exist. And then let's download the Meslo for Powerline font from this GitHub repo. For now, we are done with the font, but later we are gonna use it to configure iTerm. In case you haven't heard of FZF, Today is the perfect day to learn about it. It replaces the default reverse search and gives you a fussy search of your command history. And this is probably my main way of finding an old command that I've sent before and just tweaking it a little bit. You can just activate it via Control R. Let's install FZF and syntax highlighting in one command. To make FZF available, you also have to run this command in user local opt FZF install with the dash dash all option. This will bind the control R shortcut to FCF. To install this power level 10K theme, we can clone this GitHub repository from Romcat TV into the CSH custom directory, which you can access with this environment variable. To download the custom color scheme I built, run curl dash S L O and since the O stands for output, let's declare the output to be the desktop for now. And then again, you can copy this link from the list of commands. You just saw it popping up on the desktop in the background. To get completion in our terminal, let's clone the CSH auto suggestions from this GitHub repository, again into the CSH custom directory. By default, completions are not loaded due to permissions in later Mac OS versions. To provide permissions, run this comp audit command and pipe it into an xargs command that changes the access mod. The most important file for you to configure CSH with your own custom settings is gonna be the CSH RC file in your home directory. To get you going, I uploaded this simple config file to a gist and you can download it with this curl command. All right, since you made it this far, let's now switch over to iTerm. I'll do it via Spotlight. For the first time, you'll have to allow it to open. 
You'll notice these question marks, which is due to the fact that the icons of the power level theme are not present in the default font. So first off, click on iTerm, Preferences, Profiles, Text. And then in the font dropdown, search for Source Code Pro. That's the font we installed earlier. In the Colors tab right next to it, let's change the colors. Click Color Presets, Import, and then navigate to the desktop and select the .iterm colors file we downloaded earlier and voila, you already see the colors changed in the background. For the font to take effect, let's close this window and open a new one. And there you go, say hi to your new shell. You can now hit Ctrl R and fuzzy search in your history. You'll also get this nice metadata that shows you the current directory as well as all GitHub info using these cool icons. You'll also get these shortcuts for common Git tasks like GST for Git status or GCAM for Git commit dash A dash M. You'll also get this nice code completion for commands you previously typed. And there you go. Now you have the same setup that I've been using as a software engineer for years. If you want to tweak anything, look into the .cshrc file in your home directory to apply your own personal preferences. Let me know in the comments below if there's any more popular productivity tools for your terminal that I've been missing so far. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one.